What's up everybody? Thank you for tuning into my channel once again. I am currently on my way to Tunicle. I'm going to pick up the last of the Hicks fan merch. Anything you see with this logo, we are about to pick up the final run of this merch. So if you want to get something, I suggest you get over to the website and buy it before it's gone. The next run of merch is going to be really dope, but if you want some of the classic Hicks fan circle merch, you got to pick it up now because the very last units are currently getting picked up. So I'm heading over to a Tunicle warehouse to meet up with the one and only Mo, the badass who is behind my merch. Pick up the final run, then I have to drop my bike off to David who if you saw yesterday's vlog is going to be painting my BMX bike in some crazy colorway. I'm not even sure exactly what he's gonna do but we're gonna find out soon enough. Either way let's get on with it. If you watched yesterday's vlog you saw at the very end I painted the bike. I just want to show you guys what it looks like now. This is about three hours after I painted the bike. This is how it looks after it's dried up. The purple actually looks really good. This is uh this is where I you know, I just experimented. I mixed the pink with the blue. Ended up kind of like a weird magenta tone, which I honestly like a lot. Here's the pink. It's very splotchy because I this was obviously just a test run. I just wanted to see what the colors would look like on the bike. I think it looks really awesome. I don't think he's gonna be able to paint it today. Probably take all day to dry, but I'm gonna give him both the pink and the blue paint, and I wanna tell him just, yo, go crazy. David has really good taste when it comes to painting bikes, so I'm sure he's gonna impress us all. I'm not sure exactly what he's gonna do. I'm just gonna give him free reign over painting the bike. Trust me, when I give the bike away, it'll be in 100% tip-top shape. If anything needs to be replaced, I will go to the warehouse and replace it beforehand. In the meantime, I will have to ride the purple unicorn for at least one day while this bike gets painted. There you go. Good boy. Good Mercedes SL series. It's hot. It's about 95 degrees over here at Tuna Colt. Bay's dirty. I told you guys I was gonna wash yesterday. I gotta do that today. Real quick, you already know, anytime I come to Tuna Colt, I need to get one of their crazy vehicles on camera. Here is the green G-Wagon. Is this my next car? I don't know. Should I buy the G-Wagon from Tuna Colt? I think so. I think that suits me. Either way, I'm here to pick up hoodies. I'm here to pick up shirts, tanks. If you have a pending order on Hicksfam, it is getting fulfilled today, guaranteed. Uh, I'm a medium. All right, guys, I'm here at Tunicol. I saw someone post a comment saying that I should do posters. This is the one and only Paul Walker, the god, the legend. I had an idea. I could do posters like this. Obviously, it'd probably be an actual photograph, maybe me jumping over something, or maybe just chilling with my bike. I don't know what the actual picture would be, but I would definitely sign every poster that I ship out. If you guys are interested in seeing these posters on the Hicksfam website, let me know. This gives me another reason to get back into shooting more photos, too, because then I could shoot a dope photo, make it a poster, put it on the website, and if you guys really like it, do you get one? So here it is. These are the last Circle logo pieces that are going to be available on the website. These are hoodies, tank tops, and shirts, all in black. There were some white pieces on the website. If you ordered a white shirt, you're gonna get a black one. I'm gonna include you in the vlog, so you're not just standing there. What up, guys? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my own. They gave me my own shirt. Yes. Boom. Boom. My bro's here. Repping. You know I had to rep. <laughs> This truck is so sick. The ultimate goals vehicle for me though. It's one of these. These big ass G-Wagons. Ah. All right, hopping in the G-Wagon. My next purchase. Oh, <laughs> I was like, what the hell? Okay. Oh, whoops, it's not shut. You gotta slam this. Ooh. I'm just gonna, are you seriously just gonna drive over this curb? No! Oh! <laughs> Oh my god, are you serious? Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> this was crazy. <laughs> he just drove over the curb in a $200,000 G-Wagon. <laughs> Did you see the video when we went off-roading? We can go off-roading soon. No, I don't even want to see that happen with this thing. This is interior though, it's all like quilted leather, carbon fiber. God, what a beautiful vehicle. Goals, 200 grand goals. So I acquire $200,000 in revenue. Getting one of these. That was crazy. <laughs> look at the tracks in the grass. <laughs> Dude, look at this thing from the front. It just looks mean. It's got like a face to it. Alright, just leaving Tuna Coal. Got a whole lot of merch. All this is gonna be shipped out tomorrow. So, you place an order. Congratulations. It's about to be on its way. Now we head over to David's house. I'm going to drop off the bike so he can paint it. Hopefully David likes the paint I bought. I got some random paint from Home Depot as he saw yesterday. Uh, I don't know if this is the paint he wants to use. What's good? What's good? 
So I got this paint. I got this red or pink. Yeah. It really looks like salmon, as you can see already. Did some damage. And I got this blue. So I figured you can just, you know, go ham, do your thing, and also some clear coat. Like Dude, just go ham. Go ham. I gave, you have full jurisdiction over it. They just wanted to see those two colors. So as long as we get some pink and some blue in there, I'm sure the people are gonna be happy. If you have any specific suggestions for what he should do, should he do like zebra or like a crazy swirl, leave them in the comments. We'll try and read some before we get to painting tomorrow, but for the most part, we're gonna let David do his thing. What do you think? What's your initial idea? Zebra sounds pretty cool. Zebra? Coat and splatter the second coat. Ooh, I wasn't even thinking about that. Splatter sounds fire. Just something, something dope. I know you got some good taste. In the meantime, I will not have this bike while it gets painted by Mr. David Taylor. Take a look at this bike. This is the last time you're gonna see it in uh, its current form. I kind of like that. It looks ugly, but like cool, right? Yeah. No, <laughs> no, don't lie. You don't have to lie. <laughs> uh, David's gonna do his thing. I will tune back in tomorrow when we uh, when we're not getting chased by cops. Well, he told me that paint is trash. Luckily, I still have the receipt, so hopefully, I can return it. But now, I guess we're going around the corner to buy some other paint. Hippie ass store. Oh, my shirt kind of matches the outside, though. Which one? Uh, which one are we looking for? It's like every shade of paint imaginable. Guys, I'm down for whatever we gotta do. Should we get like a lighter pink or a darker pink? Yeah, yeah. We want to do those same pink spokes. So you, you think the like one of those two options? Hmm. Uh, I guess let's go for the lighter one. Yeah. Okay, so we'll grab this, and then a blue. The blue is probably good. The blue. Like garbage. Oh, the blue we have is good. I would think so. What's this color called? Pink Tokyo. Yeah, Tokyo pink. Tokyo pink. <laughs> nice. Thank you, man. Yeah, no worries. Awesome. Got the true color pink. We got the truest pink possible. Honestly, that costs like $2 more than the Home Depot paint, so I'm not even, I thought it was gonna be like 20 bucks or something. Should we get a sample spray real quick? He's painting my butt, oh my God. The world is coming to an end. Oh my God, oh my God. Oh! That's pink as hell. That is hella pink. That looks fire. These, this combination is fire. Dude, let's do. We're doing, let's do like pink and blue splatter on it. Yes. Yes, I'm totally down for that. That looks sick. That looks super sick. Let me know in the comments if you think this looks dope, because it looks pretty dope. Let me expose that better. Dude, that looks fire. That looks super fire. That's dope. I'm super hyped on that color. I'm also definitely coming to this store next time I need paint. All right, well, I guess I'll be seeing you tomorrow at noon Bye. to paint this bike. Make sure you follow Mr. David Taylor. And if you want him to paint your bike, well, you're gonna have to probably pay a lot of money, but hit him up on Instagram. Uh, he can do a lot of bike related things. If you want to build a bike. Buy a uh, bike, use Hicks code, and I'll build it for you. Oh, <laughs> and we'll film it too. And we'll be over there filming it. Why does this focus keep tripping? I don't know. All right, either way, I'll see you tomorrow. There she goes. Goodbye, bike. Super hyped. I'm going to be painting my bikes from now on. Because, like, why, why end the enjoyment when I get a new bike with, you know, just getting it? Why not make it more unique by starting to paint it and do a bunch of other weird stuff? If anything, like, if it, it's like giving the bike a new identity every time you paint it, you know? It's like, I don't know. I'm really excited to see how David paints it tomorrow. But in the meantime, I'm going to grab my old bike and I'm headed to, you know where, downtown Los Angeles to meet up with GQ and get a BMX session going. Let's get it. All right, a little bit of information about the giveaways for these bikes. Now, this is the bike, this one, is the one that I'll be giving away to someone who purchases grips between today and Sunday. If you didn't know, my signature grips are now available on hicksfam.com. You can buy my grips in my seat right now. Real quick, I just wanna thank you guys for making this possible. Like, look, look at these grips. They're sick, I love them. They exist because of you guys, because you guys watch my videos, you give me an audience and a place to express myself. So I thank you guys more than you could possibly imagine for that. With that said though, someone is gonna win this bike by buying grips, and then someone else is also winning this bike. There is no purchase required to win this bike, but I've already selected the winner. It's one of my subscribers, it's somebody who comments on all my videos, they're always leaving positive comments, they're always showing love. That matters more to me than anything else. There's a lot of people who come to my channel every day, they leave hate, they just like, you know, they comment rude things or mean things, which is, you know, it's fine. Everybody has to, you know, get their 
frustrations out in some way. Some people do it by taking it out on other people. But there's one kid who's just always showing love. He's so nice. I'm giving him this bike. If you're watching this video right now, you're in luck. You have an entire BMX bike coming your way. We're in downtown LA, going through Skid Row. You know how it is, it pedaling through Skid Row after dark. I'm gonna go down. I'm in downtown LA once again. I just wanted to come out and ride a little bit before the day's over. I didn't get any riding done really the last couple days. GQ, the Uno. Just don't run red lights like I do. GQ to Uno, we're gonna cruise around, ride some bikes, a little bit of late night activity, see what we can get ourselves into. They're both all the way on the other side of town though, so it's gonna be a little bit of a push to get over to them. So let's go. Hmm, wonder what happened here. This guy's burning paper. Just burning paper. There's paper all over the street though. It's super weird. That dude is just smoking paper. That's savage. There's no way that's good for your lungs. Straight up smoky. Oh, it smells so bad. He's, oh. Couldn't even breathe for a second. He was smoking paper, just paper rolled up. That's savage. That's some downtown LA stuff for you. Cops. Dude, so many people are creeping on me right now. It's kind of making me suspicious. Yo, where you at? I'm right here. Uh, remember that one time we came to the Okay, I'm gonna come meet you there. All right, that's perfect. I have a location. Why is downtown LA so sketchy tonight? I don't know why. Oh! Goddamn. Gotta go up this big ass hill. If you watch my panel, you notice I never really wear the GoPro at night because it does, it just doesn't really look that good. It looks dark and grainy usually. That's made for movies. Huh? I mean, it's probably sticky. What's up? Try some random. I know, I saw it. Ooh. Huh? <laughs> Look at this dude. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna roast myself right there. <laughs> Ooh. Yes. I think the battery's dying. Oh my god. Oh, you're right. You're right! Whoa! Just got a little bump. Just got a little bump. Dude, what the fuck? Yeah. Ah! I'd rather bar it then. We weren't filming, but the bubble just went down hard. You good, bro? Let me see that. Yeah, bro. Alright, you're straight. Jeez. Dude. How was that, dude? That was insane. That was insane. It's because that that pulls you up if you don't got wax, huh? Yeah, that's why I was scared to feeble it. I try another one. It's not crank lifting that. Mm -hmm. Stay woke. Dude, that was unreal. Unreal. Yeah. Yeah. You wanna go first? Alright. Yeah, I don't 
Mission and Commander. Hey! Yes. Hell yeah. Hey, can I do that? That was fire. Crank flip. Yeah, that was, <laughs> that was like, you need to wax that for sure, because like. Dude, that was insane. That was an insane fall. I'm glad I didn't film that. No one even needed to see that. That was. That was crucial. I suggest you don't even put the, the other one. That's sick. Right? You know which one I'm talking about. I'm just going to put the success. This is success only. We're only going to see the victories. Yeah, man. Only the victories. We don't want to traumatize these kids out there. You're right, right. Dude, so savage would be to hang 180 this rail. I was actually testing the rail over there last time. Dude, it would straight bend. Oh, yeah, that like, one. Straight bend. How have we not gotten kicked out yet? <laughs> GQ, jump through these stairs. Yeah. Yes, you, yeah, I know you can. He's gonna jump the stairs. Yeah. You got it. Woo, GQ clips. <laughs> Put my bike just there. Get out of the way. You got it, GQ. G crew. Yeah. Woo. Woo. Yeah, buddy. Come on, boy, progressing out here. GQ is getting good. Progression at its finest, people. GQ the first, one and only. All right, unreal that we have not been kicked out of here yet. Notoriously, we get kicked out of this spot within minutes. Usually less than minutes. And we've been here for about five minutes so far, at least, maybe even longer. So that is a, that's a W. Out here getting Ws so far. Camera's not focusing, but it's all good. Oh! <laughs> Yikes. Dude, these ledges are not the business. They're so sticky. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. That's a wrap for the quick little night session. I'm hyped to see my bike get painted tomorrow. I'm also hyped to get a haircut because it's not tight. <laughs> you need a haircut too? Yeah. Oh, you ain't got no hair to cut. What you talking about? <laughs> it bothers me though. Bad. <laughs> Wait, can we go down here? I think we're going to a dead end. Where the hell are we? Well, we one way down. Drop it, drop it, drop it, you're good. Okay, now go down the stairs. <laughs> they like my size stairs. Yeah, they are. Some little mini GQ stairs. <laughs> Fire. Uh, what is this, first? Um, oh. I guess I'm gonna go this way. Are you going straight this way? Yeah, straight. Word. What you up to tomorrow? I don't know, probably nothing. Every vlog ends like this. What are you doing tomorrow? <laughs> what? I gotta paint a bike, but I'll probably be out here after that if you're trying to ride. Let's go somewhere sick, like Beverly Hills. Comment below where you want to see me and GQ go tomorrow. Beverly Hills. I'm trying to get at some Beverly Hills. Oh, we're trying to do some Nolly crank flips, get some Beverly Hills milfs. Hey. Sugar Mama. <laughs> <If> you... <laughs> as soon as Sugar Mama watching this, apply now for GQ. Send me a GQ Legendary. All right, bro. Get them safe. All right, let's see, here we go, hill bomb. Hill bomb, I'm going to film my face as I bomb this hill. I might pan the camera around real quick, but this is a, this is a healthy hill bomb. Here we go. speed wobble to the right. If I hit a bump, you probably can't even hear me right now. Made it! Jesus Christ. I made it alive. 
another hill bomb conquered in the dark of night in downtown LA. Oh! Plus coming in hot. That plus would have boom slayed my ass. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> Drunk people. Either way, that's gonna do it for today's vlog. Leave your comments below. If you made it to the end of this vlog, the very end, go ahead and get in the comments and leave the banana emoji. Just a random emoji. But if you made it to this point, go ahead and leave the banana emoji in the comments. Slap a like on this video. Also, if you made it to the end. Final reminder, hicksfam.com. You can buy my signature stuff right now, so I suggest you do it. If you want a chance at that bike, hicksfam.com. Get some grips. Yeah. Either way, until next time, Hicksfam, stay safe. Ride your bike as much as possible. Continue to grind, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.